Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in, in the land of grills. Yeah, things are a little bit disarrayed, moving some stuff around here. Folks, I, I don't know if you checked out, did you check out that one yesterday? The Weber Char Q. Oh, <laughs> a real collector's item there. Folks, I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked to get it in. For those of you, I asked yesterday whether I should cook on it or not, and overwhelmingly everybody said, no, Tom, that's a collector's item, that's a unicorn. So today we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be over on the Char Grill Acorn, not the big acorn, but... The Acorn Junior, right here. This thing has got a lot going for it. And uh, I'm, I'm going to leave the link down below to the video I did review on this. This thing goes for like uh, 189 bucks or something like that. Uh, but it is very versatile. Do a low and slow on that. I did a smoked meat, meatloaf on here. That's going to be on the Char Griller website. And uh, today we're just, uh, you know what we're going to do? I got two nice uh, New York strips. Medium size, nothing, nothing huge. And I'm going to get that cast iron grate right there. I'll fire it up in there, and we're going to sear them. Sear them on the, acorn, on the Acorn Junior, on a Kamado. Oh, man. Going to be so good. All right, getting it fired up. I had some charcoal left over. Uh, Kamados are very, they, they really don't use a whole lot of fuel, so you can do several cooks. And you're saying, Tom, you're using briquettes. I thought you could only use lump in a Kamado. Well, folks, that's a myth that uh, a lot of people want you to believe, but it's not true. So I have been using in my Kamados for a while now, and uh, I've been using, as you know, B and B, and I use the orange bag, and it, it is it just as it is just better, hotter, longer, cleaner, all around better. Competition oak, the orange bag you pick it up at Ace Hardware, folks. You can't go wrong with it. And if you do have to have lump, look there. B and B makes a good lump, and they got uh, pecan. I, I love their pecan chunks. Oh man, it goes really well. And then they got some uh, hickory logs right there too. Good stuff from B and B, folks. Find it at Ace Hardware. And there's our New York strips, folks. Like I said, they're medium size. They're not small. They're medium size. And I, I really, if you can find this stuff, I found it at Ace Hardware. <laughs> B&B. Uh, this is their Texas Trinity seasonal. And uh, that is a, a very good all-purpose. And for the steak, it's going to be perfect. Oh, man, look at that. We are uh, ashed over. And we are ready to put the cast iron grate on and get the searing. Well, if you want to know how hot this little Kamado can get, Almost 650. Well, that's hot. We're ready for steak. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? We're ready for steak. All right, ready to give her a flip. Oh, man, will you look at that? <laughs> that is nice. Very nice. Give you a couple more. All right, folks, one, one last look. Holy cow. Will you look at that? Yeah. <laughs> talking about some cast iron seared steaks there they are right there let's get them plated up let them rest for a bit give you a look see oh man it's gonna be good all right we've had about uh, 10 minutes rest time let's uh take a look oh man don't those look good <laughs> it's medium rare right there folks nice very nice take a taste test here Dying for this. Oh my gosh, does that look good and juicy? Oh, oh folks, look at that. It's, it's dripping. It is so good. You got the they got the crust from the cast iron sear from the char griller acorn junior, and then medium rare on the inside. Folks, this is <laughs> that's the way to do a steak right there. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, folks, uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you.